Clovis? We're in Clovis, California. We just finished, uh, really all we did was install a shower head in here. We uh, told the homeowner we'd look at the low flow pressure in this master shower area. You know, this here is deceiving because that's a nine gallon a minute faucet, so it flows great, besides the aerator being a little clogged. This here, with the head off, we, we turned it on, it flows three gallons a minute, which is typical for half inch pipe. And um, so we just gave you a new Moen EVA, EVA uh, faucet shower head there. Same thing we've got at our house, your old one sitting here uh, on the counter. That there, we can't modify that for you. If you'd like to do something with it, um, you know, you can drill a hole through the thing or take that little plastic restrictor out. We're not advising you to do that. Um, we're just saying that there's nothing you can do with the pressure there. Uh, we can do with the pressure there. Cartridge wasn't bad, so we didn't replace it, so we didn't charge you for that. And then uh, first place here, we've got the uh, a crossover valve. We've got a Watts pump out. We'll take a, take a video of that in a minute, but we have the first crossover valve sitting down here, uh, hot and cold. So brand new supply lines. Uh, that comes with the kit, the little shorties that go around to the valve, and then of course the ones going up to the faucet. Those are brand new. You had the old Quest tubing there. So that's all our plumbing. Monitor this area, please, underneath here. If you should get any any kind of moisture whatsoever, even a hint, we need to know because, you know, water left unchecked causes lots of damage. So if you could just monitor this and uh, we're going to take a picture of the kitchen here in a minute. Same thing there. Just watch these two areas to make sure nothing develops. Right now everything looks good. So we'll go out to the kitchen and uh, take a picture of that real quick. Same thing out here, real tight to get to. Um, there's a couple things that we'll go over when we're out here. This uh, faucet is uh, the mounting hardware, it's corroding in place, so you may have some water that's uh, leaking down here. Uh, so anyways, this guy, same thing, hot and cold. And these aren't even, uh, you can see these guys, they're just, they're just hanging in the wall when they stubbed them out. It's, it's plastic tubing that's stubbed out and then shut off out. So those are your valves. Same thing in the other bathroom, we didn't, replace the valves but we did give you new uh, supply lines this one we left in place on the hot side the one with that tag that says uh mill mill flex me flex uh m2 flex whatever that is with the brown tag uh that's yours and we just needed that to reach our connector so as you can see here this connector is ours it's a brand new braided stainless steel that connectors are so hot and cold going out and then again these guys these two those were very painful to install up here because the faucet is uh just has some copper stubs sticking down you can see it behind the hose there right there uh so those are installed brand new but up higher i'm not gonna probably flip my phone over trying to take your picture but up higher, it's corroded where it's where the mounting where it mounts up there. I'm not getting you a picture. So all that right there is scaling over, with it, which indicates leaking. And uh, just monitor that. You know, monitor this for, of course, leaking and anything that we perform uh, for you. But also keep an eye on that faucet because I think uh, you're gonna have to replace that at some point. Anyway, so that's the kitchen crossover valve installed there. And then we're gonna go out to the. Up to the garage, take a look at this pump real quick. So this is the Watts pump, recirculating pump. We set this in in a lot of a lot of homes. We got the Grunfos, sometimes we'll set that and then this one's the Watts, so it's nice. We gave you a little shorty extension cord right here. I just picked it up out of Home Depot. It's like ten bucks. And then the cord's kind of just laying behind your tool chest right now. You can see it kind of right there, goes behind and over the water heater so uh, we did replace a couple components out here didn't charge you for it didn't charge you for the cord and didn't charge you for this so when we went to connect this pipe uh, back here you got iron pipe stubbed out of the wall that's what I was talking to you about iron pipe to a valve and that stuff gets uh, I mean it breaks down the whole inside is corroding uh, when we pulled it off there was a lot of debris in the front so we unscrewed the nipple you had in the wall and gave you brass solid brass the rest that's in the wall, well, there's nothing we can do about that. It's in the wall. Um, you know, if you ever came to a point to where you needed to repipe something or you're trying to abandon the iron pipe, you'd have to get up in the attic and tie into the PEX lines that are up there and then just come through the ceiling here and give you new piping. But uh, but you've also got iron pipe out at the main water shutoff. So brass connector, we give you a brand new corrugated stainless steel. It's a Falcon stainless steel connector. You can see the tiny one over here, the cold one. 
big one over here we install. These are full three quarter inch inside diameter. Down to the pump, little brass extension. So same thing here, just monitor things. It's an old water heater, it's still working. So just, just let it run. But this is 2005, so 15 years old, you're due for a water heater. Uh, like I say, if, when something's working, just let it work. And then when it fails, give us a call. We'll be glad to come out and get you a new water heater installed. But uh, this I went over with your uh, with the homeowner. Uh, you can see the pins that are pushed away and the pins that are pushed in. So any any of the pins that are pushed in, the pump does not run during those times, which you can see is from 10 o'clock at night to 6 o'clock in the morning. And then you can see pushed out 6 a.m. around back around to 10 p.m. And then that little arrow indicates the time. So it's almost 10 o'clock right now, and it's on timer. So uh, you can turn it on. If you want to do 24-7, you can turn it on, turn it off, run it time, however you'd like to do it. Sorry about the shaking. I'm holding on in one hand on your water heater. Uh, so anyways, that's installed. Uh, monitor these areas if you wouldn't mind, because once we leave, we just don't know what's going on. But outside of that, the installation is done.